Well, we've had a thousand point sell off in the stock market today at various times. It's been up and down right now. It is off 1,099 points. Uh, the Nasdaq off even worse, actually 5%. And the American people agree with Wall Street that the economy is not in good shape. Uh, I'd say so. According to a new poll from CNN, an overwhelming majority of Americans, 77%, believe President Biden's economy is poor. I'll say literally and figuratively. 47% saying somewhat poor. And 30% saying very poor. Poor. Uh, I think poor, the operative word there. But the Biden administration says there's nothing to see here. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen even telling Americans that the U.S. economy remains strong, despite the fact that it shrank in the first quarter of the year. Joining us now to discuss, former chief economist for the U.S. International Trade Commission, Peter Morisi. So, Peter, we have rising inflation. We have a stock market going down. We have an economy that's shrinking. Uh, what's going on? Well, the economy has been mishandled by the West Wing staff that believes you can spend as much money as you want. They're advocates of the new monetary theory, which basically says the government can spend $2 trillion on stimulus and not have it have consequences. Well, you see the consequences outside. I have this thing in my head that the two things that Americans watch the most is their paycheck and the price of gasoline, because those are numbers that are in their face. You know, every day when you drive to work, you see the price of gasoline and you get your paycheck twice a month. Those numbers don't look very good to most Americans. Their pay isn't going up by a lot. It's going up. But gasoline is going up by a great deal. And whoever does the shopping in the household can't find milk, you know. So it's not a good economy. Yeah. Uh, all right, Peter, my question is pretty simple. Um, I guess how dumb do they think Americans are? If they keep repeating the economy is strong, somehow Americans will believe that, even as you just pointed out. They're certainly not seeing that in the bottom line of their day-to-day -day lives. Well, I think it's a, it's a reaction to the way they choose to govern. They have an ideological disposition. They want to do certain things. And this is much as it is with, say, the abortion case, where they're saying this makes abortion illegal and it threatens gay marriage. It does none of those things. Uh, here, uh, they, they, they have a responsibility, unlike abortion. That is a federal responsibility to manage the economy. And between Jay Powell, Janet Yellen, and Joe Biden, I can't. if you gave me 25 cents for their competence, I'd have to give you back two dimes. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the output from the average worker now. It hmm. seems like the worker is making more money, but is producing less. Is that the equation here? Because we actually saw a drop in productivity in the first quarter that, uh, at a level we haven't seen since 1947. Something's wrong with that. You're an economist. Well, that was because of the large trade deficit and the, uh, and the fall in the, in, in the GDP. Uh -huh. That's really sort of a one-off. I wouldn't put too much stock in that productivity decline. During the first, uh, you know, four or eight quarters of the, the pandemic and recovery, uh, productivity improved a great deal. So productivity is improving, and people are making more, but the workers aren't getting it. The Democrats were supposed to see to it that the workers got a bigger share. The reality is workers are getting a smaller share because inflation is very tough on ordinary working people. They get their pay adjusted maybe once a year, but prices are going up every week. So they fall behind. This notion of printing money, that you can somehow run the printing press like a Xerox machine yeah. and, and, and obtain prosperity is just silly. But Deese believes that, and the whole gang, at the, at the whole gang down there in the West Wing believes this nonsense. You can't, you can't even have an intelligent discussion with them. Hmm. All right, Peter Morisi, thank you so much for joining us, sir. Take care.